Welcome back Owlettes and this is the second video to assembling your journal for our Easter spring video series. So today or in this video is kind of a extension of the last video you watched of us selecting our papers and putting them together. Let me show you really quickly what I did. I basically just um, as I went along every other page of the book I added a couple pieces of extra paper. I did some clear white 28 pound paper some car some plain um, pretty papers from this was from a Hobby Lobby pack again a plain piece of paper so basically about every other book page I put in a pretty paper or a white paper <laughs> for assembly so and then of course it will repeat on this other side so what I wanted to do is create a couple of little show you guys a couple little things uh, little tuck spots I'm going to be including some envelopes also in my journal and then I also wanted to since I'm going to be actually sewing in this journal now if you're going to be doing the ring journal the ring bound which is like the um, book rings you can add all this stuff later on but as you go along but with the since I'm going to be actually sewing this in and we're going to be doing that video tomorrow uh, I wanted to go ahead and do that right now um, because I'm going to have I'm going to have to have it all together basically in order to sew that in I won't be able to add it later okay so um, for this first page, I basically just took a 12 by 12 page and I folded it in half. And I'm going to show you really quick how I'm going to make this into like a little pocket to add to my journal. So I'm basically, I would, how I do this is you can glue the top. I use washi tape. So I'm just going to randomly pick a uh, washi and Pokey decides to visit us. Say hi, Pokey. Okay. <laughs> He always likes to come in and check on everybody and make sure we're all doing okay. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to basically take a, some washi and add it to the top of this page here. And that way I kind of seal that in. And you could even do a top load. Um, kind of a top. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I think that'll be fine. I was thinking that this paper may be a little thin and I should reinforce the edging edging with washi tape, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to run this along the edge here and create a seal. Again, you could do this even with scotch tape. You could do it with um, some masking tape, which I love using masking tape in my journals. It's just a little something different with different textures and it holds up fairly well. Or it holds up actually really well to be honest with you. So for that, and this way you have like a little tuck spot you can put um, a tag in or create a large tag and have it pulled out. Maybe make it into a secret. I like, I like doing that too if I'm really kind of writing some things that I don't just want to have out you know in case someone picks up my journal I'll create a little little message in here little writing and put that in there and seal that up like I'll either put a ribbon or something like that which I'm going to show you guys in this video series so the next thing I have these pink envelopes and I'm literally going to fold this in half this I picked up from um, Dollar Tree so I know they have those there now, one of the things that I haven't been using during this whole video series is my paper um, folder, bone folder. And I am a high believer in the bone folder because it really creates that edge on here to make it. And what I'll probably do is go through that. was not a good idea, Becky. That was not a good idea, Rebecca. <laughs> and what I'll probably do is go through and add that in here and what I could what with this one I probably will like create like a go ahead and do that it creates another tuck spot and I like to make it my own little curvy scallop edge. but going back to my bone folder probably before we seal this up tomorrow isn't that cute and now you have a little spot here and then another little space here for the adhesive more than likely I am going to take that off but I'll probably put either paper down or I'll probably put like washi tape or something to 
or you could cut this piece off altogether. Um, but that's something you can decide as you move along into the journal. So I think I'm going to put this actually somewhere in the middle, like this. It's already getting quite fluffy. And I see that I cut some of my papers too, too long here, so I'm going to have to go up and trim those off. So that's one little tuck space. I also had this extra piece of paper that I saw, and I was going to do a, um, if you wanted to create like a smaller one, like here. See, this is where my bone folder really comes in handy. <laughs> it just makes a tighter fold where it doesn't create as much puff, if that makes sense. But I'll go through and fold each one of those. And then I just kind of go along the edge and create a little fold. And you don't have to use, you can use all different kind of washies in the, when you're doing this project. I personally am on a quest to use as much washi as I can because I have so much and I love it but I don't sometimes I have to remind myself to to use the washi or I have the same ones I use all the time so with this one being that I want to make it not as I really want to create a so we're gonna come in here and kind of go okay well where do we want that fold to be on this side you can actually make it larger where it goes like this and just have a little bitty piece on this side which is kind of what I was thinking because I was thinking it'd be really nice to have something tucked in here so I'm gonna just fold that and create that crease if you don't have a bone folder you can always use like a a ruler that's what I was hoping to get a straight edge from here but that that didn't work out well so this one we can add, let's just say right here. So that's creating a little tuck spot as well. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that I like to do that. And then this one, going back to the cardstock that we talked about earlier is so cute so so cute let's cut this let's cut this little piece off the end here okay I'm starting to get a ginormous mess over here <laughs> anybody else getting a ginormous mess <laughs> oh that's part of being creative, right? Just going to cut that little edge off. So this is a folder, and I do this. This is like my go-to folder. I basically bring it up about halfway. So like that. Fold it. Fold it over again. So you have this crease. Oh, you know what, you guys? I just remembered. I just remembered. I have my bone folder right here at my fingertips. Ta-da! I forgot it came in that kit, the, the sewing kit that we're going to be sewing our journals together. Oh, this, this makes all the difference to me. <laughs> and so then I'm going to fold this over like this. So it just kind of really makes that fold perfect. Okay, so here we go, and then you have a little folder. So well, let's go ahead and add some cute washi on the tips here. I'm going to actually do a little bit thicker washi that um, this rainy day washi, which seems to me so fitting for spring. Let's trim that edge off here. I'm 
then we're going to fold it over like that. Trim off the excess. I love this umbrella washi. It's so cute. We're going to add it up to the fold. Add washi up to the fold. Trim off the excess there. So isn't that cute? This would be a great little piece of happy mail too. So you take a 12 by 12, you fold it. I am, by the way, you guys, I don't measure anything if you have not noticed, but I, I, I would say it's a little bit over a half fold. So I fold it in in half. And then I folded the 12 by 12 paper in half. And it makes this adorable little pocket. And then we can add that to our little bunny page, our little bunny book. So somehow I'm gonna try to change this up a little bit. I definitely want the intro here, but I want a pocket come next. So I think I'm gonna put the pocket in there like that, which means I'm going to put this in, okay? We have a plain sheet of paper. We have Nicholas, he's so cute and he lives in a hollow tree. Oh, you guys, oh, I saw something beautiful yesterday, amazing. I have never seen this before. So of course we have squirrels and yesterday we were on our walk and this this little baby, the squirrel, like we saw it leaping right from tree branch to tree branch and I literally saw it went into the hollow tree like the, there was a hole in the hollow tree up at the top and it whipped in there. I was like, I have never seen that. You know, I know that squirrels live in trees. They have their nest, but I did not realize this whole time they would, I, I mean, you did, I guess I knew that, but I've never seen it. So that was pretty exciting that I got to see it go into its little home and see how full it already is, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm gonna add this to the center of here. And this will be my center. You know what? The only thing I don't like about having this short um, page as my center is because when we sew this tomorrow, we actually put a hole, you know, like about, I don't know, I'd say half an inch up and then in the middle. And then if this isn't like secure, even though the string will come over, I don't like this not having, I like having a piece of paper that's more secure over the top. So, actually what I think I'm gonna do, see I'm already getting it so full, you know? That's what I have to keep in mind. So let's go back over here and we will put this folder in. So I'm gonna keep this as the center page, right? Maybe, or this, this does this go up to the very top? Okay, we're gonna keep that as the center page. That way when I sew it, we're gonna be sewing here. And I might put a strip of washi just to reinforce this center since it is only like a one, um, it's that thin, thin pretty paper. So we have that one, we put our folder in. We have two white sheets of paper. I have another folder, which I think I might put somewhere else. We have the cutest frog in the rain. We're gonna put this folder in between these two. Okay, so we have that, or actually the folder goes on the outside maybe. Yeah, okay, so that's that. We have a white piece, another piece of paper. We've got beautiful, like that. Two white pieces of paper, a book page, and then we're back to the very beginning. But we don't have a place for this. So what I say is, we hold this for another project, <laughs> but now you guys know how to kind of do, you can take just a junky piece of paper and make it into a pocket. So we'll save this for another project because look how fluffy already this is. And then if you get our book, where's the book, which we're going to take out the staples tomorrow and I'll show you guys. We're going to, so tomorrow, since I'm going to be sewing, I'll show you the supplies we need in just a moment, um, but I'm also going to need a, I'm going to take a piece of like old, 
I don't know, you can use anything, anything cardboardy, like, um, is that a word, cardboardy? <laughs> Um, but you can take anything like a old cereal box or granola box, gr granola, you know, bar box or something like that. And we're just going to cut the width of the book here, and just as a reinforcement for this um, this page here, just so it kind of creates that spine and keeps it keeps it as a spine. So let's pretend we're ready to go ahead and bound this, and it's going to be just like that now. Do you see what I see? See the overage? Which means all this I'm going to trim off. You don't have to. Like I said before, with this one, I'm probably going to put some really pretty... And actually, I could still do it with this one too. If I don't want to cut this off. But if I do, I'll go through and like kind of see what I'll be cutting off. If I'm going to be cutting off like cute frogs and whatnot, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but if I'm just cutting like, you know, part of the sky and and just some of those pages of the the book I don't mind which that looks like that's what I would be doing is cutting just those edges off so I'm gonna I will be doing that as well um, tomorrow when we bind it I'm gonna bind it first before I trim it so tomorrow the tools that I'm gonna use is I'm gonna find my my staple remover and I'll show you guys how I plan to do that which I might have to tear off this whole gold, which I'm gonna be covering mine up with tape anyway. I'm gonna be using book binding tape with, ow, sorry that staple got me, which I'll be using, that I use with like this. And I'll leave links below um, for this. So I always use a red, as you can tell, I've used this up quite a bit, but this has lasted me almost two, or this is like my third year to be using this. So um, this is was a great investment, but I always put it, typically put it on mine unless I do material as you can tell you guys I have so many ideas I just it's hard to focus on one I didn't say this is what I'm doing for this but I think I'm gonna be doing my book binding you can also do material down the the side of this which is really cute but the red I just saw this red and red would look really cute with the little mushroom and his little overalls so um, but again your options are open and we can talk about it tomorrow but um, so basically I'm gonna be using my little sewing kit which I'll leave a link below um, which I've done this before if you guys have followed me for a while don't know why that's in there <laughs> so I use wax twine and this all comes in a set and it's like seven or eight dollars or something like that but I have an all actually I bought two sets because I did a class one time and I wanted to make sure I had enough so I have an awl, I have twine, I have two large paper clips to hold. You can also use binding clips or anything just, just to hold a book in place while you sew it. And then I have the needles that come with um, that come with this kit. So, so I'm going to be using book binding tape and this this equipment to book to. And I'll leave a link below. Um, they're really inexpensive on Amazon. So, all right, you guys, we're coming together. We are getting it done. And I am so looking forward to, once we get it done, then it's, it's ready to go and it can, then it's time to start decorating. So, put your, get your pages picked out, go onto my blog and make sure you print out the if you want to, if you want to use these in your journal, I just think this would be so cute to be part of this, your documenting for your spring. So, all right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye-bye.